question po, ma'am. Ma'am, would you want to say words po, ma'am? Ma'am, nag-usap ba kayo ni Senator Revilla, sir? This is Richard Cambe, the staff of former Senator Bong Revilla. Antigraph Court Sandigan Bayan says Cambe colluded with businesswoman Janet Napoles from 2006 to 2010 to plunder 124.5 million pesos from public funds. <laughs> Three out of five judges of the Graf Court says Cambe pulled it off without his boss Revilla ever knowing anything. Revilla is now free as his underling heads to the new Belibid prison for a maximum jail time of 40 years. This is how Revilla got away from the plunder charge. The prosecution uncovered an extensive paper trail of letters showing Revilla requested the budget department to release discretionary funds to Napoles NGOs. The letters would have been enough to pin down the former senator. But Revilla managed to find Desiderio Pagi, a handwriting expert from the National Bureau of Investigation. Pagi's testimony, the signatures were forged. The judge's decision to acquit relied greatly on this forgery argument. Associate Justice Efren de la Cruz doubts the integrity of Pagi. The expert admitted in court that he once signed a report he believed to be untrue just to please a higher official. Pagi's examination also relied on photocopied endorsement letters. De la Cruz said he found attorney Pagi's method unacceptable. But he is outvoted by three members of the division, Justices Geraldine Faith Ekong, Edgardo Caldona, and Justice Georgina Hidalgo. Commission and Audit Commissioner Arcadio Cuenco wrote Revilla in July 2011 to verify if he had indeed authorized the NGOs to use his pork barrel. Revilla confirmed. But he also asked why COA was interested to know. He asked for the copy of the investigation results. After that, Revilla no longer corresponded with COA. Justice de la Cruz asks, if the signature and the confirmation was truly forged, shouldn't Revilla have notified COA after verification efforts? Revilla also sent a letter to TLRC Director Antonio Ortiz, authorizing Cambe as the point person to his pork barrel. Given all this, Justice de la Cruz said he finds it extremely hard to believe that this scam of such magnitude was confined only within the realm of Napoles and Cambe to the exclusion of Revilla. De la Cruz also did not see eye to eye with the other judges on the recantation of witness Marina Sula. The three judges gave a lot of weight to the recantation, only one of the three witnesses of the defense team. Sula said she saw Ben Herloy forge the signatures of Revilla on the endorsement letters. Justice de la Cruz doubted the recantation, saying that the original testimony years ago was detailed and specific while the recantation was so plain and casual. The recantation was a sham, Justice de la Cruz declared. For the majority, the forgery and the recantation shattered the prosecution evidence, except for one. The Anti-Money Laundering Council or AMLAC found that from 2006 to 2010, a total of 87.6 million pesos were deposited to several accounts of the Revilla family. The dates show the deposits were always made within 30 days from the time Loy gave the kickbacks to Richard Cambe. There's also 27.7 million peso deposit into the account of Nature Concepts Development and Realty Corporation at a time that the company had no operations at all. The company is controlled by Revilla's wife, Lani Mercado. All the deposits total 170.9 million pesos by 2010. Revilla only declared 81.16 million for that year in his sal N. For Justice de la Cruz and fellow dissenter Justice Maria Teresa Dolores Gomez Estuesta, this is a clear proof of unexplained wealth. Judge Estuesta, in her dissenting opinion, said it was one piece of unrefuted evidence that the three majority justices glossed over. The majority decision says that this is purely circumstantial, adding that the company is a separate juridical entity from the person who controls it. In her strongly worded dissent, Judge Estuesta said the accused never attempted to debunk the AMLAC findings. Estuesta added, why are the three majority justices now taking up the cudgels for Revilla? The majority decision ordered the return of 124.5 million pesos but did not categorically state who must return it. 
Revilla is again running for the Senate in 2019. There's a big possibility he'll be back in the same office that was instrumental in the plunder of millions of taxpayers' money.